I was filming recently at Oshkosh 2019. Dennis Carley from You Fly It Light Sport Aircraft said they were building an Aerolite 103 from a kit in a tent next to the ultralight field. Join me in this unique view of the build process. This is Wayne Whitley. I'm a retired computer design engineer, and now I create adventure videos for fun. Come along with me and enjoy this Whitley Videos adventure. Oshkosh AirVenture 2019. I'm from Aerolite 103 and this year we did something a little bit different. We had our booth here at the uh, show where we always have one or two planes on exhibit and where we field thousands of questions all week long from uh, the folks who are coming through here. But in addition to that this year, uh, in conjunction with one of our dealer, uh, Rick Hayes from Hayes Aero, we brought a 51% kit here. We set it up in the uh, workshop tent by the Red Barn here in the ultralight area, and we assembled that. We started on it uh, Monday morning, and we finished it this morning about a half hour ago. Uh, we did it from uh, 9 to 11 every day. Rick was there by himself, and then from 2 to 4 every day, uh, he and I were both in there working on the airplane. Uh, any given time there were probably 30 or 40 people in there watching the progress as we went through that build and we did that really for the person who's never seen a kit plane go together so they could actually see what the process was so we got it done here this morning this is friday morning about uh, like i said a half hour or so ago and we tallied up we have uh, just a little over 28 man hours in putting the airplane together from the kit and behind us is what it looks like we moved it over here to our booth here this morning so everybody could see the finished project this video only records some of the steps of the Aerolite 103 build and is not intended to be a detailed assembly guide. The build process for the Aerolite 103 is detailed in the documentation included with the kit. This is Rick Hayes organizing the parts for the sequence of assembly steps. The 51% kit includes major pre-assembled parts such as the fuselage with landing gear, the wings, flaps, ailerons, elevators, and rudder. All flight and control surfaces are covered with pre-sewn colored Dacron sailcloth envelopes or sails, eliminating traditional fabric and paint applications and maintenance. Once the Dacron sails are fitted over the 6061T6 standard aircraft aluminum tubing, it's time to add the attachment hardware using sealed structural rivets. After attaching the windscreen, nose cone, wing struts, and wings to the fuselage, it's time to cover each wing with its Dacron sail. Covering the wings requires careful alignment of the sails and patience to produce the best results. Both wing sails must be tightened to allow the Velcro wing gap cover to be installed. Now it is time for the aluminum battens to be added to each wing.
After attaching control surfaces to the wings, the tail along with Bowden push-pull control cables to the fuselage, the aircraft is now moved to the Aerolite booth for final inspection and display. Thank you Dennis Carley, Rick Hayes, and the entire Aerolite 103 team for showing us this live demonstration of an Aerolite 103 build process. Congratulations for completing the build of another Aerolite 103. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends. As always, I welcome your comments. Until next time, take care. And oh, this is a sage thistle, just in case you wanted to know.